45s homes across the valley have been selling at lightning speed this year, leaving some buyers to just take what they can get. On here this morning, the Let Joe Know team finding some may have signed too quickly, missing some red flags. Here's Joe Ducey. Trying to keep up with the fast moving housing market hasn't been without challenges. Deborah writes when she purchased her home, no black mold or rotted wood was found on inspection, but later discovered the front and back of the home, even support beams are rotted, saying they were purposely covered up with new wood and repainted. It was a similar situation for Kristen, but instead of mold, a leaky roof. Now, both of these buyers did what you should always do, have your home inspected. Those inspections, some of them were waived during the peak of the market. So how are these big issues missed? It's a visual inspection. They can only inspect what they can get to. City Ready has been a licensed realtor for more than two decades, saying there's often a misconception about inspections. Let's say, for example, in a garage, if a seller has all their stuff packed up and you know all the boxes lined up along a wall and then there's something going on on the wall, the inspector's not necessarily going to be um, moving boxes to look behind a wall. She says she recommends going beyond a traditional home inspection, for example, hiring an AC company to inspect the HVAC system or an electrician to check out older homes because wiring codes have been updated. The other thing that's really common in older homes is that the root system of large trees can get into the sewer system. No matter the case, never waive an inspection. Reddy says you can offer to waive repairs instead if they're under a certain amount. What we're trying to do there is let the sellers know, listen, we're not going to be nitpicking you with little tiny stuff that's that needs to be done on this house. She says you could also ask the seller for their homeowner's insurance claims history report. As a seller, Arizona says you must disclose any known issues that could affect property value. If you don't, it could be equated with fraud and the buyer could take legal action. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know for more ways to protect yourself. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you've got a problem, let me know.